I'm here to interview Yanis and Jimmy of Fool's Fame. I am super excited. Holy Fire has been out very short amount of time at this stage and it's already doing amazingly well. How are you feeling about that? Pretty great. Yeah, good. Really good. <laughs> Do you think this is going to be the album that's going to catapult you guys into global stardom and worldwide domination? You know, when we made the record, it's like you make it for people's ears and and you make it for an emotional connection. So the trajectory of like records and success and stuff is kind of unbeknownst to us. But we're not we're not really interested in global stardom. <laughs> I know. But the world domination part sounds good. I like that. We're our, our harshest critics, so if we feel like content with something, then we. We believe that that will, and we and we believe in what we're doing. We think it's honest and it's got integrity to it. And then we think that that will that will work. That will just translate. I think it's probably a futile thing to try and um, like write music for the outside world specifically, unless yeah. you're like a pop, like a proper pop musician. How do you measure your success then? I want to basically be able to make music with my friends and to play to people and to feel like we're doing something that's fulfilling and in some way fresh. And like, if we're playing to people that are there and they're, they're applauding, then basically applause is the, is, the, is the meter of success. If people are like aren't clapping at the end of a song, then you know it's not been great. It's kind of an intense schedule you guys have over the next few months with, I suppose, promoting the new album and the North American tour is Mama. I'm looking forward to the States. Like it's it's definitely for us it's a really fun place still to tour because we haven't done it kind of too much. It is a brutal schedule, but again it's it depends how you look at it. It's like we're fortunate to be able to to just play music. So I mean, you know, you, and, and like a bit of grind's good for you. It's not good to get too like soft and too too, you know, complacent. People are saying that this is your time. Do you guys get any sense of that yourselves? I don't know what that means. I mean, we, we got told that in 2007 as well. It was like, you, you know, you, it's like you're the coolest band of the year or something. And, um, and it, now it's 2013. So I, I feel like a lot of the, wor the words that are used for, you know, it's, it's a well-known thing. It's just hyperbole. It's just, it's kind of waffle. It's like flatulent puffery. We have to talk about your style. It's really, really cool. Yeah, it's really <laughs> unique. Is that something like you just throw it on? Yeah, tramp, tramp yeah. chic. Yeah, yeah I love yeah. it. It's pretty easy, really. You just put a jacket on and roll around in your recycling. Bin. <laughs> and yeah. that's it. That's the key to this whole look. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's just to be unkempt. <laughs> You're going to be back in Ireland again soon in the summer for Longitude. You guys looking forward to that? Yeah, uh, that's going to be a good festival. We saw the lineup yesterday. So like Craft, but some of our favourite bands are playing there. It's going to be dope, and uh, Irish festivals are good. We have to talk about the enemies as well. I mean, fair play to you guys. Best track for Inhaler. Were you expecting it? How did you feel? We were kind of expecting it, yeah, because it was the best track of the year. 